whoever does the will of my heavenly father, his brother and sister and mother. Indeed, as we know, Mary is the quintessential example of doing the will of God, hearing the message of the angel Gabriel, asking her to take on this tremendous role, and saying, yes, I am the handmaid of the Lord, let it be done to me according to your will. Mary's obedience, Mary's yes, is for us that light of doing the will of the Father. And so when Jesus speaks this illustration, it can't be more true than we see in Mary. There are two other statements in here that are worth noting. People came to Jesus saying, your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak to you. Standing outside. Mary, doing the will of her father, stands by Christ. There she is, standing by him as he teaches. Certainly, we can imagine how she stood by him in his years growing up and learning and coming to maturity. We know in the Gospel of John, the same word is used. Mary is standing by the cross of Jesus. Mary stands by her son, doing the will of the Father, standing by Jesus. And they are seeking to speak with Jesus. That says something to all of us. As we hear this gospel today, we can be inspired always to do the will of the Father, to stand by Jesus, who always stands by us, and to seek to speak with him, to speak with him always, to speak with him everywhere.